So welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Tunas Person and Professional Development. Today, the 21st of November, I come with another day life lesson. This day life lesson again tells us about philosophy because when we talk about life, there is no way we can avoid the philosophy. That's why this month, most of the day life lessons I have talked about the aspect of philosophy because remember, life itself is a philosophical aspect. So this day life lesson tells us that actually, if you want to be a philosopher, it is important to learn not to be threatened by absurdities. As a philosopher, you'll have to inquire. You'll have to ask for questions, answers. You have to actually put whatever you hear, whatever you read to scrutiny. As a philosopher, you pose questions. As a philosopher, you seek answers. As you seek those answers, as you try to understand nature, as you try to understand people, as you try to understand relationships, as you try to understand the nature of humans, or even you try to understand yourself, you should be able to not be actually threatened by absurdities. Because absurdities are actually part and parcel of life. You'll find that as you try to understand your spouse, you'll find actually in his reasoning, there is actually a lot of gap. As you try to understand your spouse, you'll find that in her reasoning, actually there are a lot of holes. You'll find that as you try to understand your boss, you'll find actually there is hollowness in his thinking. As you try to understand, for example, some expectations of customers, you find some of them are, are unrealistic and it is absurd. When you find their spouse reasoning is hollow, when you find your spouse's understanding is actually lacking, that is an absurdity. Even it comes to the parents that have groomed us that we respect you find, as you try to understand why they made certain decisions in their lives, you will encounter absurdities. As a philosopher, actually, by the way, philosophy is not just for the adults. Even children can philosophize. Even as children, as they inquire, as they ask questions, actually, they are absurdities. Some of the responses that are provided are actually insufficient. Some of the things that adults believe in, which they tell children, they actually even themselves are not aware about why they should be able to believe in such a things. Some of these are cultural, others are religious, others are scientific, but full of absurdities. Therefore, as a person who is living, whereby we say that an unexamined life is not worth living. You always have to examine your life before you even examine the life of others. But as you do so, you should be prepared to encounter absurdities. And once you encounter those absurdities, you recognize them. Don't condemn those people with whom you find that actually they have hollow reasoning. Don't condemn the people with whom you find that actually they have gaps in their understanding. Don't condemn people whom you find actually they fall short in reasoning. But as a philosopher, as someone who examines life, you should be able to understand those absurdities because they are the basis for growth and the development. This has been a daily person for today. Thank you.